Good evening, I'm Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. The man who bought the rifles used in the San Bernardino massacre made his first court appearance just moments ago, and we now have chilling details of an earlier terror plot. CBS 2's Randy Page is live in Riverside with more on that. Randy. Well, Pat, Enrique Marquez was dressed in a t shirt and casual plants with the, with the pockets turned inside. As per the security protocols inside this federal court building as he stood in the courtroom next to his attorney and the judge asked him if he, if he had a chance to see the documents with the charges against him he answered in a quiet voice yes here is his arrival to that federal courthouse he was inside this white nissan maxima with those dark tinted windows when he got inside the building it took a number of hours to put this hearing together but it did finally come together and here are the charges against him first conspiring to provide material support to terrorists secondly count number two making false statements for the purpose of acquiring firearms and third count, immigration fraud. And the most chilling details inside the document involved what Marquez and Syed Farouk were planning, according to federal authorities. They began planning back in 2011, a very elaborate attack using firearms and explosives to attack Riverside Community College and also a stretch of the 91 freeway. Now, if he's found guilty on these charges, he could spend up to 35 years in prison. In this 10-minute court appearance today, a judge appointed a federal public defender to handle his case, and he'll be back in court on Monday for a bond hearing. But, Pat and Paul, one of the most chilling parts of this is when you realize the details of the attack they planned in 2012 that was never carried out, according to Marquez, because there was another totally unrelated case involving four suspects in San Bernardino County in a terrorism case. And when that surfaced, he says they decided to not carry out the attack. Paul.